Hey everyone, so a video came out yesterday of Mo on the Monster Hunter. <laughs> Hi everyone, so yesterday a video came out on the Monster Hunter channel. Uh, it's a huge update video giving out the release date of the game, giving out uh, new monsters, showing the hub town, showing new characters of the story, showing elements of the story. This is a fucking a lot of stuff. If you guys want to see the full video, link in the description down below. Uh, but I'm gonna just talk about the whole video right now. Let's move on to the video. Now, for the first thing you see is pretty much a good shot of the uh, original map, the uh, I think it, uh, the ancient forest, I believe it's called. Yes, the ancient forest. And this shot actually looks really good. It gives you an example of what the ancient tree is, like it, like the size of it. I mean, like the ancient tree essentially grew and spread out the entire forest. So the entire forest basically is one tree, but it just looks so cool from this angle. Next up, you see another angle of the desert, the spiral waste, I believe it's called. I mispronounced the fuck out of that, but oh well. Uh, next one is another map that they showed off uh, in the trailer. Um, I'll talk about it more later, but right now, uh, I actually don't remember the exact name for this map, but there's a lot of wind currents, a lot of things happening in this map, uh, a bunch of different, um, like, it's a good, it's a good place to use the glider mantle, basically. And here's a shot of the entrance to the town, which is basically a ribcage of a monster, which, good lord, how big is this thing? And an awesome shot of the whole town. I love the giant boat on top of the town. How'd that even get there is my question. Like, was this town, I mean, was this area full of water before? And it's dried up and the boat ended up there? Or, I want to know the story behind that boat. But... You see a better look at the town, you see the surrounding areas there, you see there's a dock, and right here is a shot of the main character's handler, one of the uh, story, I guess one of the story characters, who actually, I like the model of his face, he just looks so angry. And the main character of the game, which is essentially you if you're playing Monster of the World, which I'm happy he's actually in the cutscenes. When I first watched the trailer, I didn't notice him actually in the cutscene until I went back and watched like four times, I was like, oh, he is in the cutscene! And now you can see that there's a bunch of different stores in the town, too. You see a bunch of different hunters walking around too. That's always awesome, knowing that there's like AIs or actual players that could be walking around. And this is where uh, this is where my brain kind of got blown a little bit. Just the idea of someone researching a Rathlios as he lays there. I couldn't tell. I obviously I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure the Rathlios is dead. I'm just throw out there. I'm pretty sure he's dead. But he could be knocked unconscious just under heavy duty drugs or some shit. Because that's, I mean, that's one of the reasons they have us actually capturing monsters, now that I think about it. Um, but, I like the idea that people are just walking around looking at this thing, studying it, checking its scales, and all that stuff. I love that. You see the blacksmiths, which I think is awesome that when you're making, when you're asking for a weapon, the weapon actually comes up on a conveyor belt. And that is just awesome. There's a lot more, like in a lot of other monsters of games, I usually see one blacksmith, but apparently this one there's three, which... You know, that's cool. I, I like how there's a bunch of little claws and fangs littered across the uh, left side of the, uh, of the, uh, the blacksmith area. And a bunch of different weapons just on the right side. And your first look at the kitties. They're so cute! Oh my god! And here's another new character who I believe is the chief of the town. At least what I think. Um, this guy, I also love his design too. I can't figure out what armor he's wearing, but I kind of want it. It could, it might be, it might be the, uh, the bear's armor. I forgot the, for the bear's name as that, I forgot that thing's name completely, but it was kind of a shitty animal, but it might be that armor action now that I'm looking at it. Maybe it's this game's version of it. I could be wrong though. And then the, we don't, what everyone's trying to figure out what the fuck this thing is. Is it, it's an elder dragon. Everyone's saying it's an elder dragon. It's, it's something pretty freaking big. Especially later in the in the uh, trailer, I'll show you you show you guys something that it kind of shows how big this thing actually is. But from right this perspective, it looks fucking big already. But I don't, it looks like it's covered in molten lava, or I don't know what that is. It's hard. It's it's really hard for me to tell what this thing like really looks like because of the coloring, and it's pretty. But you know, it's it's hard for me to tell. But I think it's an old dragon. A lot of people are also saying it's a dragon. Um, it's not the, um, main monster of the story or anything like that, but it is connected to him in some way, though. Next up is this Narukuga snake hybrid thing. I don't even know what it is, but 
I want it. I want to fight it. It looks so cool. It looks terrifying. Yeah, this thing is a fast, gl fast gliding monster. I think, I'm not sure. This is just me speculating, by the way, just this one point. I think his tail probably has poison. Just throwing that out there in his fangs because it's got a snake. But it looks pretty cool. And then there's this ugly fucking thing. It, it's a rat. It's a fucking rat. It, ex it expands its throat, which I don't know what the purpose of that is, but it's just... A w it's just a weird monster. It's it's Capcom. It's just a really weird monster with an ex expanding throat. I don't know, but it's like a giant bubble thing. I think it's a bat actually. I thought it was a rat, but it could be a bat rat thing. I don't know, but it's a balloon. I'm gonna call it balloon. Then we get a better look at that chameleon monster um, as it fights. It fights an awful like that one ancient. Uh, I mean, it fights a lot like that elder dragon. That's what I meant to say. The it is a chameleon. I think it's I believe it's called Chameleos. It's been a while since I fought that thing, so I'm a, I, I don't know, but I just realized how fucking thick this thing's tongue is. Ugh. And of course it shoots out poison. And now we have a good look at the new raptor bosses in the game. Well, one of the raptor bosses in the game. It, I, it's kind of like one of the drones, but this thing has something I haven't seen before on a drone. It's got the fla the flash bomb effect thing where it lights his face on fire. Uh, not fire. It lights his face to blind everyone. Uh, but if you look away, you'll be fine, which I've been trying to teach Roberto forever, but, you know, he doesn't listen. And now we get a good look. Well, not a good look, but we get a look at the, the, um, main monster in the game, which looks awesome. I have no idea what this thing's name is, but, oh my god, this thing looks fucking amazing. I want to see this thing's armor. Then there's this dragon. I have no idea what this thing even is, but it looks magnificent. It, it, I don't know. All you see is a look at his ch his uh, chest, but it's definitely a different monster. Then we gotta look at a new monster, another new monster that looks absolutely awesome with its wings. Um, I've obviously I have no idea what this thing even is, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's more of a flyer than any other any other monster just because of the wings alone. It, it's probably gonna like, be kind of like Rathleos, where it flies around a lot, just judging by its uh, design alone. What of uh one of the commenters? our videos, which I, I don't have it on me right now, was talking about how the cats go to other cats and learn the language of the monsters and then recruit them. It turns out this is completely true. I actually finally found some stuff about it. And thank you to the commenter who uh, left it. Uh, I appreciate it, which I thought this is awesome at the time, and I'm glad it is actually true. So, I'm pretty sure these Molten Nugget things have to do with that giant boss monster that we saw uh, earlier in the video. Uh, judging by the color, it's probably the same coming from him. Maybe it's an egg. Maybe it's a chunk of its body. I don't know. And then we see Boat Combat, baby! Another monster. I think it might be the same one that we saw in the, uh, you know... In the uh, like rocks area where we saw the lava guy, it looks kind of similar, but I can't really tell because all the water. And our first look at Rathleos in this trailer, who looks downright fucking awesome, if you ask me. He's got all that detail on his face. Oh, he's so cute. Okay, so my favorite part of this video so far is this guy puts on the rock city mantle. This bird thing throws a rock at him, and he just chugs. He just ignores it. He just completely ignores it. It's fucking amazing. Then you can see what I was talking about earlier in the video where you can use the glider man to fly up in this area. Which is awesome. And now, kitty! Oh man, I am so looking forward to this, to this, oh, so much. Then we get a final look at the flagship monster of this game. I have no idea what this thing's name is again, but it looks just amazing. You see him flying away from that giant monster, which, now that I take a look at it, it makes him look even bigger. Imagine fighting this giant monster on this other giant monster. That's fucking nuts. Then we get the release date, January 26, 2018, which is two days after my birthday. So this is the best birthday present fucking ever. And I'm taking that entire week off to play this, by the way, everyone. So if you're looking forward to live streams from Monster Hunter, just head on over to our channel and please subscribe because I cannot wait for January 26th. Then you get a look at the pre-order bonuses, which is these cool armors, original set, 
in Fair Charm. And I think what Nabrothic would be most interested in, most interested in is the samurai uh, armor, which is not actually an armor. It's just kind of uh, like a skin. So you have any armor, any, you have put any armor you want on and you just put it on. It just kind of takes the look of this, but it's not actually uh, a set. So yeah, that's the new trailer. I am insanely impressed. I am excited and my hype has just exploded from the last time I watched the trailer. Um... I don't know what else to say, honestly. I'm I'm very impressed. I really want to see more, and I cannot wait for this game to come out. And I'm going to be streaming it. I'm making videos about it. It's going to be a fun week when this game comes out. And I'm just happy it's two days after my birthday, because I was expecting the due date to be, like... Uh, yeah. I was expecting the release date to be, like, March or April, or just... Because he said early 20, uh, 2018. I was not expecting it legitly this early. <laughs> so... I'm ex I am don't know what to say. I'm just really excited. But, yeah, if you guys want to see more videos like this, subscribe to our training for more. Uh, if you guys are excited for Monster, thumbs up. Uh, share this video if you want. Helps me out. And, yeah, thanks for watching. I'm just, I'm just super excited. <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. Bye.